y'all let me tell y'all i need my eyebrows done i need my hair done i need my feet done i need my nails done i need <sighs> things waxed so we we it's, it's it's time so as you read the title we are doing a maintenance vlog first things first i am on my way to get my wax that is my first appointment it's saturday july the 20th y'all my appointment is at 11 15 all this time i thought it was at 11 45 it's at 11.15 and it is currently about to be 11.10 and I'm still about 20 minutes away. So, hate that for me. Y'all, let me tell y'all, we starting off this vlog all in my business. So, you guys, I'm like on day three of my menstrual. I have never gotten my wax done on my menstrual cycle. Never, never had the desire to. I think it's nasty. Like, I just... I just don't, I don't even want to be down there when that time of the month going on. So it's like, let alone somebody else. This is the only day that I could have gotten it done, you guys, because I'm I'm leaving in like less than a week. So I didn't have any other time to get it done except for today. And when I calculated when my menstrual was supposed to come on, it came on kind of early, which I love that for me. Because that means when I'm gone, I'm not going to be on. So yeah, but that means that today... I gotta be on my menstrual. So like, let me tell y'all something that's something so embarrassing that happened to me recently. So I was at work, y'all, and mind you, I was only into an hour of work at this point. And I went downstairs to get something from the little store that we have. And somebody came to now my, let me play paint the picture for y'all. I was on the second floor, right? That's where I was sitting at. The second floor. I had to walk doo -doo 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 to the elevator, right? go down to the first floor, pass a whole bunch of people, go into this little store, just for somebody to come up to me and was like, I'm so sorry to be four, but you have blood on your butt. <laughs> Talk about embarrassing. Talk about embarrassing. Like, I was so embarrassed, y'all. So I had to leave work, but the like, it's so frustrating because that happens to me every single menstrual cycle. And I don't know why, but every single, like ever since I had the twins, I feel like that is just so heavier down there to the point, y'all, this, I am so sorry if this is disgusting you, but I'm just saying like, this is my real life. Like it is, I, 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 it's heavy down there. So it's like, no matter, even if I have, you know protection on it still comes through so i am just so frustrated because y'all like that is embarrassing for somebody to come up to you and tell you that like the first time that happened to me a man came up to me in marshall's a man and then the time before this last one when i was at work luckily i was at home i got i stood up and my daughter told me she was like mom you have something red on your butt like y'all i hate that for me so i actually went and purchased like the adult diapers <laughs> and they seem to be working a lot better for me but days like today where i'm actually doing something and going places i don't want to wear that like i have on tight jeans so i doubled up on protection y'all double up honey i got on you know a tampon i don't wear tampons but i got on a tampon and i got on a pad so we doubled up in protection and i got plenty on deck okay so if, if if one thing don't work then we got backup but it's just like i don't know i'm just so thick down there that it's like it's just it just be moving all over the place so it's just uh, uh i don't like that for me anyway i didn't tell her that i'm on my menstrual but you know she has told me before i could come when i'm on my menstrual so i'm just like ugh, i'm just ready for it to be over but y'all that's the first appointment let's get it started y'all I'm, I'm running late jumping a lot because I get it threaded she be like are you on your menstrual and I be like girl yes yeah. and she be like I can tell because you just so sensitive <laughs> I 
because my birthday was the eighth, and I, girl, the worst. I had the worst birthday ever. Really? It was just so bad, like because I usually always go somewhere, but this is the second year in a row I have not went anywhere, and just the nightlife here, it is just. <laughs> <laughs> girl and i got used to that price <laughs> 40 dollars okay she was saying that I i don't know why this is my least favorite part <laughs> jesus <laughs> this one gonna hurt i already can feel it Yeah. My daughter was like, I put my bag in there. Guys, we are done, baby. We are done with our first appointment. Okay, my wax. It, and it was not, y'all, it was not as bad as what I thought it was going to be um, with me being on my menstrual because I really thought that it was going to be bad. <laughs> like, I just, I don't know why because it's not like, like I, yeah, we ain't even got to go into details, but it wasn't that bad. Okay, now as far as my sensitivity, can I turn right here? I really feel like I can. I feel like it is a sidewalk right here, honey. Let me, let me go this way. I felt so bad because y'all, I was late, late. My appointment was at 11.15. I didn't get there until like 11.30 something because traffic was just horrible. But luckily, you know, I, I apologize to her because I don't like... Y'all, I be trying my best to be on time, baby. But where I be coming from, when I say traffic just be terrible, y'all, I swear, they make traffic. They make traffic. I, I know they make traffic because ain't no, they make traffic, okay? Anyway, we are done with that, y'all. Um, I do have some things I'm going to do today, but being that this is a maintenance vlog, I'm not going to show that because if you click on this video, you want to watch a maintenance vlog. But, yeah. So, my next appointment up is my nail appointment which is monday at 11 45 but we are done with the wax i can't show y'all because <laughs> obvious reasons but baby just know she is smooth and snatched i love my wax lady i love her like she is the only person i have ever lex she is the only person i have ever gotten a wax from anytime she has changed locations like i'm following you okay because when i go to her i don't experience no bumps no irritation no nothing i feel like even though yes it is like you're getting hair snatched so it's gonna you're gonna have some type of feeling to it but it's like she just like when she snatched it off she put her hand there which helps like kind of relieve the pain so i just love her i love her i love her love her we always be chatting it up so it's like i'm gonna have to cut this video for real so you won't see like i mean you won't hear our conversations because we be talking about any and everything but yeah but i'll see y'all monday i'm about to go enjoy my saturday and y'all should too y'all like my hat i got my hat from etsy if y'all like it i'll link it below so y'all can shop with the girl it was like 40 dollars i think 30 something something like that got hearts on it because mm -hmm. y'all baby listen let me show you what's under here Ooh. <laughs> uh, first of all it is tuesday okay it's tuesday y'all know i told y'all that i had a dig on um hold on y'all know i told y'all that i had a nail appointment monday right <laughs> but yvette did not come back on here monday because i missed my dig on nail appointment and it wasn't a situation of where I forgot about it. I had another appointment yesterday morning and y'all, and it wasn't like a maintenance appointment. It was like an appointment that I had to go to for my son. And y'all, I literally was in there from seven until 11.58 and I never got helped because it was like a walk-in appointment. I never got help, y'all. And my nail appointment was at 11.45. So I did call and ask her if I could push it back 30 minutes. She said that was cool. But by the time I could get from where I was at to the nail salon, it was past the 30 minute mark. And she said she had an appointment at one o'clock. So I missed my nail appointment, y'all. And I was so hurt about that because I don't, listen, I have no. <laughs> this man about to get hit. I have never missed a nail appointment. Never, ever, never. 
I don't miss my nail appointment. That is one appointment. That and my hair, I don't reschedule it and I don't miss it. Never. So for that to happen, two days before I go out of town was like, what in the world is going on, baby? This car is on the curb. On, on, oh, they got an accident. Oh, they got an accident. Um, so yeah. So that's where we're at right now. I'm on my, and then two o'clock this morning, I got that hey boo text from my hair lady, right? The girl that's doing my braids. It wasn't too bad, but let me explain. So my hair appointment was supposed to be at seven. I just knew that I was gonna be out of there by four because my nail lady, luckily by the grace of God, she was able to move all of her appointments up today, which I am so grateful for her because you know, any other person, y'all, they would have been like, forget you that's your business that's your problem i don't care so she was able to move up move up all her appointments today to get me in today at 5 30 so i was like okay cool i know i'll be done with my hair by then my hair lady texted me this morning and said she, i she need me to come in at y'all i gotta go get this money hold on wait. i'll be already right Okay, y'all i got the cash i got my doors for somebody trying to roll up on me and steal my money because i said that i was gonna let y'all know how much i pay for my services so for my wax i pay 65 for my hair it's 375 i already paid a 50 dollars deposit what 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. Oh, I'm about to say not the ATM jumped me a 20. Okay. So I got 330 now. That's how much. Well, my, yeah, I was supposed to. She is all in my face. God damn. Watching me count money. That's exactly why I locked my damn door. Because people so daggone nosy. Anyway, so my hair is three, the remaining balance is 325. I took out 330. Okay, what was I saying? Last time I got my hair done. Okay, she started at seven in the morning and I got finished at around three because I had took a picture. So I had, I got finished around three and I had got smaller braids and they were longer. This time, instead of getting small, I'm getting medium. And instead of getting butt length, I'm getting waist length. So I was thinking like, okay, if I go at seven, I should definitely be out in time. Mind you, I still have to pick up the kids from daycare and I cannot be late picking them up. So, cause I have nobody else to pick them up and I'm not leaving my babies for no hair appointment. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not letting my babies be left at daycare because I'm getting my hair done now. So I was telling her like, you know, is my hair gonna be done in time if I come at nine? Cause I have to leave at four. It's like, I have to leave at four. And she just was asking if I have a lot of hair. And like, y'all know the length of my hair is not long, but as far as how much hair I have on my head, I would say I have a pretty good amount of hair because my hair is rel relatively thick. So I don't know y'all, we gonna see how this go. We gonna see how this go, cause. So I'm on my way today, and then I have to get my nails done at 5.30 today. I cannot miss that by any circumstances. I cannot miss that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go pick up the twins and then take them home so their older brother can watch them, which he is old enough, y'all. I just don't like him watching them for too, too long, cause you know, twins, teenager, just too much. But I don't have nobody else. <laughs> so I gotta, get, I gotta get him to watch them. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm already stressed out, y'all. I, I told myself that I was gonna try my best not to get stressed out this time around for my vacation, but it's just, it never fails. I'm, I, one thing I'm gonna do is get stressed out because of prep. Because it's like things be, don't be flowing how they supposed to flow. People be canceling, you know, and I know things happen. Like with my hair, she was saying that she was braiding until, she was braiding until five in the morning because she had texted me. So I know she will be tired. I know, I know, I know. So I'm not holding this against her at all. It just becomes an inconvenience when it's like, you got something, to, you know, somewhere to go, something to do, things to do that you can't push. And I don't want to, you know, be late or cancel my nail appointment again because for one, I already paid my deposit, which is $35, okay? And for two, 
I just don't want to do that because the fact that she pushed all of her appointments up today for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to do that. So, we're going to have to get out of here by 4 o'clock today. So, let's hope and pray that we can do that, okay? I almost thought about asking her, like, hey, do you just want to go ahead and do medium? But I'm like, I just don't want medium. I just don't. Like, I don't want small because I didn't want to sit for that long. But I do not want no medium. So that's why I chose the medium. <laughs> Y'all like my Stanley cup? My friend got it for me for my birthday. For my birthday. Which was terrible. Oh, that's another thing, y'all. I just thought about it when I showed y'all my cup. Tell me why. Sunday, the day before my nail appointment was supposed to be. I was cleaning up, y'all. I was cleaning up my closet. Tell me why my nail popped right off. And my nails look a mess right now, y'all, because my hands are so ashy. But look at my nail, y'all. Look at my nail. And I hate when my nails pop off. That is one thing I hate, especially when it's my... First of all, let me tell you something. When I first started going to my nail lady, my nails, like, around the two-week mark, at least one of them would pop off. But that was because I was going to her newly. I had just cut my nails down. She had put tips on my nails. And I am so rough, y'all. I am not a girly girl at all. I am so rough to the point where I, if I have tips on my nails, meaning they put a nail tip on my nail, they're going to pop off. They, they are at least one or two of them is going to pop off. They are. So that's why I always like when my nails, my real nail grow out to the point where it's no longer a tip up there is just a acrylic overlay because my nails do not break however i had these nails on for a while now and i could already tell this middle nail was like kind of lifting um because i had them on for quite a while like it's been a while longer than what i usually longer than the four week mark so but i i didn't want to get new nails because if i would have got new nails at the four week mark then I would have had to keep them nails on for vacation and they would have been like two weeks old at that point. So I just dug it out and pushed it. But this is what happened. So now I'm upset because she's going to have to put a tip on his nail. Meaning it's a possibility it might pop off. And if it pop off when I'm on vacation, I am going to be so pissed, y'all. Because I know things happen, and trust and believe, I'm not judging nobody else. But that's one thing I hate. I do not like broken nails. I do not like, on myself, I do not like broken nails. I think it just looks, it, I don't even be wanting to show my hands. Somebody complimented my nails yesterday. I'm like, baby, please don't look. Please don't. Because <laughs> it's like, what in the world? But on my way to my, I mean, hair appointment, I was going to stop and get her some Starbucks, but I got to see how much time I have. What time is it? 8.45. <laughs> Might not be able to do that. Uh, I'm trying so hard not to cry. Tell me why I get here. She not answering the phone or the door. Not answering the phone or the door. I just left because nobody is answering the phone or the door. So now I don't know what I'm going to do because for one, I already paid her a $50 deposit and it's last minute. So who am I going to find last minute? Literally nobody. I don't know what, what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh my goodness. Like this is so frustrating. Like it really is because it's just...
and got my nails done. Let me, I'm sorry for it being like grainy. It's, it's about to be dark outside. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what's been happening. So the last clip that I showed y'all was when I was saying that she wasn't answering the phone, right? So she called me back literally not even five minutes after that, that clip. And she was just telling me that she was so sorry she fell asleep, which I completely understand. It was never in my mind to think that she was trying to stand me up because she had bra braided my hair several times before. So it was never that. And I did feel like in my heart that she fell asleep because she had texted me at five in the morning and said she just got done doing braids. So I know she wasn't lying about that. It's just, you know, I was just irritated because it's like, oh my goodness, I leave Thursday. If this girl don't answer the phone and it was a situation where we was already pressed with time because um, I had to leave at four. So y'all, four o'clock came and as you can see, my hair was not done. And like I told her, I said, I appreciate you not just trying to do it like any type of way though, just to, you know, get me out the chair or whatever. So I appreciate that. Now, this is what's gonna have to happen because I had to go to my nail appointment. I had to leave her at four, get to the twins, pick them up, take them to the house, then go to my nail appointment. Just got done with my nail, well, I got done with my nail appointment about 30 minutes ago. Stopped and got me some freaking Sonic, y'all. I tore the mozzarella sticks up because I literally have not had anything to eat today nothing not even a chip all i have had was liquids that's it and that's all i had to also stop and get some more hair because i did not have enough boho hair the i don't know if i showed y'all the hair that i had end up getting i don't know but the hair that i got it came with like two bundles like this so i thought like if it had two bundles that was two bundles but no you need two packs of hair that has two bundles each and the bundles that I got were thin. So I had to stop and get some more hair. That was $50. So in total, I have spent on the human hair alone, the boho hair, $100. $100 on the human hair. So now this is what's gonna have to happen. She's doing somebody hair right now. When she's done doing their hair, I'm gonna either go back as long as it's not too late. I told her if it's like one, two in the morning, I'm not coming. If it's not too late, it could be like 11, something like that. I'll go back and get my hair finished and then come back home. If it's too late, I'm going to have to go to her 7 o'clock tomorrow morning and go to her before my eyebrow appointment because tomorrow I have my eyebrow appointment at 10 o'clock. I got my lashes appointment, which I don't even know what time my lashes appointment is, but I want to say it is like 11.30 or something. So my eyebrow appointment is at 10 um which should only last 20 minutes if that then my lash appointment at 11 30 then after that i need to get my feet done and then i need to do whatever last minute stuff that i need to do which is some something that i want to pick up from ulta which we're gonna do that tomorrow so yeah so the only time that i have to get my hair finished is either tonight or tomorrow morning so i am grateful for her though because listen if she did not come through and end up calling me back baby listen i would have been out back because you know how hard it is to get an appointment last minute with somebody that can actually do hair like i, I could have went into the african shop but still like i don't know girl they be picky they girl they just be don't they, they, some, they be doing what they want to do sometimes so that's where we're at right now y'all i'm about to go home good morning y'all let me tell y'all what just happened to me by the grace of god y'all the gas station around my house the way that it works is that if you use the if you use your card at a gas pump it don't make you take your card out before it starts pumping so i feel like a lot of people leave their bank card and i feel like i had left one of my bank cards there already but i didn't have that bank card for the longest so i just been using it on apple pay because i was like i don't know where the card at ain't nobody trying to take no money off my car i'm gonna just use it on apple pay but then my bank started to like decline transactions because they thought it was fraud and i'm guessing they thought it was fraud because i haven't used my actual physical card in so long so i just was like you know what let me just go ahead and order another bank card and stop just using apple pay so i ordered another bank card it said that it was delivered on the informed delivery but i never got it so i had to call them and was like hey it said it was delivered i never got it i need y'all to send another card out which i was irritated because i had to wait another seven to ten business days i still haven't got that card yet 
Then y'all, the day after I called, the the bank card was in the dead on mailbox. Anyway, I st but I still can't use the card that came because it's, it's you know they deactivated it. So the other day I had went to the to the same gas station and I had used another card. Now this card that I used. It's not like a card where I can just like add it to my Apple Pay or like just transfer money. Like if I lose the card, I can't do that. So I need the actual physical card. This morning, I could not find my card for the life of me, y'all. And I was in here panicking because I was about to leave and go get my hair done. But I something told me to make sure I have my bank card because I don't have any other bank card right now. So... Y'all, I could not find my bank card. I literally was in here panicking because I don't. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I just don't know what I'm going to do Like, if I don't have this bank card. So, some just told me to go to the gas station and ask them if I left my bank card there, y'all. Tell me why they had my bank card. They had, And, y'all, they literally had no lie, y'all. This is no exagger exaggeration. They had over 100 bank cards. She had to go probably through, like, 100 just to get to mine. And I use mine Monday. Mine, y'all, is thursday no it's wednesday so i'm just so grateful that they had it y'all i was like oh my goodness thank you god like i was running out that deck on store i was like thank you god thank you god thank you god because i did not that is the last thing i needed today i already been under enough stress with everything going on i did not need that to happen like whoo thank the lord so with all that being said i am going to be late to get to her by eight o'clock y'all because i had to get that car before i left i was not like i couldn't no, like I need that car. I need that's the only car that I had my money on. Like I needed that car, and I didn't want to have to ask nobody. Like, hey, can I borrow? Da, 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 da. And, and just be, and tell them I can find this car or order a new one. I did not want to have to do all that. And I leave tomorrow. No. So anyway, I found a car. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you for your grace, because baby, as y'all see, my hair is still not done, y'all. But we making some progress. But I had to leave to go get my dig on. Um, eyebrows done because my appointment at 10 o'clock i tried to ask her could she push it back like 30 minutes but she was like no she could do 11 20 but i was like i can't do 11 20 because i have to be at my last appointment at 11 30 so i was telling her i said listen i'm gonna have to leave again and come back but luckily it's right by her so it's not like you know what i'm saying it's far away or nothing like that so y'all this has just been the most hectic most ghetto most just uh but it's just like it's just been such a huge inconvenience because it's just been such a huge shit show because I have so many appointments and it's like the appointments I have, I cannot push back. So we're going to get our lashes done, y'all. Okay, y'all see them? They need to be done. I mean, not lashes, eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. <laughs> So eyebrows are done. Y'all know I don't have that many eyebrows anyway. But she, um, yeah, I just like how she do them. 
with the little bit that I have finished. Now I'm about to go back and get my hair done. I should be back to her no later than 10.30. And even though my eyebrow lady was a couple of minutes late, I told the, my hair lady that I should be back no later than 10.30 cause the eyebrows don't take long at all. And she gave me a complimentary drink for being a couple of minutes late. So love that. It's good too, it's a matcha lemonade. I never had matcha anything in my life and it's really good but let's get this hair done y'all because i'm over it at this point i'm ready for it to be done i told her literally we got 50 minutes to get this done 50 minutes and she said she got like eight braids left so we got 50 minutes to get this done so yeah let's get this done <laughs> So I did put the length that I want up there, but my main thing is I just want to be able to, to wear my glasses. Um. Okay, so the length you chose, you would be able to wear your glasses okay. still, unless you do want them a little shorter. As long, I just want it, like, I don't want them touching my glasses. Cause okay. with, yeah, that's what be irritating me and I end up picking them out if I can't wear my glasses. Okay, I got you. I was looking forward to this just lay down and just chill. <laughs> All these appointments been stressing me out. Okay. So you going out of town? Yes, I'm going to Cabo tomorrow. Ooh. And hopes to make it because all these flights been delayed. Well, hopefully you can. Yes, my sister was just sending me somebody on TikTok was showing the North Carolina airport and it was just people been there for days waiting and that's where one of our layovers are. So they still haven't gotten any computer issues to situate it? So they got it situated, but like it's pretty much a domino effect. Like everybody that got delayed is like they're still trying to figure out how to get them home. I don't know what's taking so long, but. Is this for your birthday or something? No, my birthday was July the eighth, but um, but um, we're going as a group trip. It's supposed to be fourteen people, and I'm just like, Lord, Ooh. I just hope everybody make it on this flight that's all i pray that everybody just make it and there's no delays do you wear extensions already um no uh -uh. you wear strips sometimes yes i was asking because i see your corners i don't know if you just be ripping them all do you moisturize them all like the um, inner corners my inner corner probably girl i'll probably be picking with them i have this thing where i just like if it's something like itchy i just be picking it or the glue i'll pick the glue off but if it's just if it's not enough lashes just, just it's okay well no 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 oh, i'm okay. not saying it's not enough it's just from here and mm -hmm. here it's a million lashes and then right here mm -hmm. there's sparse so that's what i was just inquiring oh, okay okay um so i did recently start instead of putting the glue on the strip I've been putting it on my line, lash line first, so I don't know if that has been affecting it or what. Hmm. But yeah, is it on both eyes? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like you have nice lashes throughout here, mm -hmm. way out here, but in these inner corners, is there? It's just it doesn't. But you know what? Honestly, when I wear um my strips, I try not to even get them really in the inner corner because it bothers me. Like if they're too close to my um like mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so i don't know maybe it's for me picking them maybe we, i have one of my clients is a picker yeah girl like last time i got lashes it was literally maybe three years ago and i only kept them on for three days and i picked them all out because i do wear kind of prefer my glasses so if i cannot wear my glasses they're coming off <laughs> well how long was that set was it long or? yes it was long <laughs> Cause I actually seen um, so my friend Sabina got her lashes done by you oh, for her birthday. Yes, I love her. and her lashes were beautiful. I said, "Oh yeah, so yes, yeah, she is." I said, "I have to book her." I just was like, "Girl," but I gotta be able to wear my glasses. Cause I said, "Do you think they short enough for glasses?" She said, "Well, I don't wear glasses, but just ask her." <laughs>
let me tell y'all y'all know how stressful this has been y'all know but we are done honey we are done hair is done as y'all can see i got my hair in a bun y'all i said i got to get this hair up y'all i don't like hair just on me like that we are finally done with prepping for my vacation y'all now i'm about to start a new video which is pretty much me packing and stuff like that for the vacation um yeah so i didn't i never showed y'all my lashes but lashes are done y'all and i love them i love i love them i love them like she did such a good job and what i love about them is that i can still wear my glasses i also got some new glasses y'all but y'all gonna see that in the next video but i love that i can still wear my glasses because that was my biggest thing with getting individual lashes i didn't like that i could not wear my glasses like they would be too long but y'all she did that she she did that hair is done and I don't know if y'all could tell. Yeah, you could tell. So my actual braiding hair was a color four. And the boho hair was a color 1B. So it's not the same color. But I like it though. I like it. Nails are done. Okay. Nails are done. I don't know if y'all could tell. But I actually already. Nails are done. Nails are done nails are done this one actually messed up already because the little pearl that was right there fell off but nails are done feet is done y'all will see a little clip of them you should be seeing a clip of my feet so we did that y'all we got the hair done we got the nails done we got the feet done we got the lashes done we got a bikini wax now it's time to go on vacation. And well, first I got to pack. I'm so tired. But anyway, y'all, thank you for rocking with me this video, doing this maintenance vlog. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.